ladies and gentlemen, for the last two days here on Avenues, while we were doing our winter workshops with the participants from you know various places around Shillong, uh, we were so happy and honored to have this gentleman sitting right here. So I'll just tell you his name. His name is Mr. Girish Nayar. And of course, uh, he's come all the way from Mumbai. He owns a company known as Curiosity Gym. So of course, uh, he will know much better about what Curiosity Gym is all about. Uh, Mr. Girish, uh, thank you so much for being in Shillong, first of all. Thank you so much, but man. I think the audience will definitely love uh, you know, to hear from you what Curiosity Gym is all about. Sure. So we set up Curiosity Gym about seven years ago in Mumbai. And I had worked for about 25 years in industry, in engineering and technology. Okay. I graduated from IIT Bombay and wow. worked in Silicon Valley for about 15 years before wow. returning to India and okay. heading a company in, in marketing automation in India. I see. But having worked for about 25 years, I felt that I want to do something else for the next 25 years of my life. Okay. And uh, being a parent, I had two sons and I noticed that a lot of times kids go to school and, you know, they're... You know, they may be doing academically okay, okay. Or, you know, whatever, but that interest in, in learning, you know, okay. it starts dissipating over time. And this is, you know, across, you know, strata of society. I don't know if it's society putting pressure, parents sometimes putting pressure, the board's putting pressure, mm -hmm. everyone's out to get the, the job and get mm -hmm. into college and st stuff. And then what happens is with the changing world, I see you know, many of these things are going to become less and less important. Okay. And what's going to be more important is that innovativeness and curiosity in students. Okay. Right. So I set up Curiosity Gym okay. as a place, just like one goes to a health gym to build up your Work biceps. Out. The mm -hmm. idea was for Curiosity Gym to be a place where students of all ages I see. can, can you know, retain their curiosity. Actually, they, kids are born curious. I see. And over time they actually start losing curiosity. <laughs> so, so the ideas, even as adults, is, you know, how do how do we retain the curi a curiosity of a two, two-year-old? You know, yes. we may have kids in a house or nephews or nieces in a house and who are really t two and they're, they're, they're curious about everything. And the way of the future is going to be when, when one mm. is curious. And having the background in, a very strong background in technology and engineering, yes. we put together a team of, you know, uh, um, engineers and science okay. majors who created curriculum on STEM activities. in activity-based okay. uh, thing to make makes science and math very easy to understand. I agree. So a lot of times one, you know, one gets scared of the subjects of maths and science and things. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to actually make, you know, make it easy because science and maths is there around us mm -hmm. in our true, daily life true, true. right and sometimes if you if we realize that it's there in our daily life okay. and we don't even club it as a subject called math and science and we just okay. say what's the joy inside it All right. right and we discover that so we we've, we've created a lot of curriculum that we work with schools mm -hmm. and community centers yeah. and organizations like avenues okay and we hope to partner with avenues on bringing st stem to uh, to the masses here yeah. okay uh, thank you so much for that wonderful answer, uh, Mr. Girish. So seven years is what Curiosity Gym, I mean, the term that Curiosity Gym has been in the world. But I'm sure Mr. Girish comes with a very, very high level experience of more than 25 plus years. You spoke a little bit about Silicon Valley, right? Yes. So I'm sure when you stayed in the US and your transition from America to India, so I think Mr. Girish is the best person to kind of gauge what's the difference in academics from a student there and students in India. Can you just uh, say a few words on that context, Mr. Girish? Sure. So a lot of uh, things in the US, the education system is very open. Okay. Right. So a student can can actually take different subjects mm -hmm. even when they go into college. In fact, my younger son is now in the first year in college. He hasn't still fully decided what to do de life. degree he is okay. doing. You know, so Perfect. he's doing a little bit of economics, a little bit of math, okay. a little bit of you know, mm. another subject, even philosophy. Okay. So they get exposure into different subjects, you know, and then 
that that broadens their horizon uh, and perspective. Is, is your son in the U.S. right now, sir? Yes, my okay. son. Okay, yeah, fine. Yes, yes, yes. And so, uh, so, so the the education system allows that, and they allow allow that kind okay. of freedom even in the schools. Of course, he grew up. He did his schooling in, in, in India, India. In, 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 in Mumbai, he just I see. went there for his uh, early college. But uh, yeah, so, so the education system there, and now the Indian education system has, uh, uh, you know, proclaimed Designed. something called okay. a national education policy uh -huh. that they've announced about two years ago. The NEP is going to try and bring, mm. uh, you know, the ability of the mindset to be, be open and okay. have not only you know, specialization in one subject. I see. You can actually have a little bit of art, little bit of math, little okay. bit of, yeah. you know, uh, you know, because many of the disciplines are going to be interdisciplinary. I see. Right. So there, there are going to be fields like biotechnology. There's not technology and bi and biology. Okay. So it's not good enough to only do one thing. You know. So a little bit of exposure to everyone is the need uh, of the hour. Is the need yeah. of the hour, and and the jobs of the future are going to be spanning different disciplines. Mm -hmm. So, you know, rather than only specializing in one thing, you know, uh, 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 students are going to need a variety of skills. Okay. So, and, and a lot of that can be inculcated in the very young age. So, you don't okay. need to wait to college to start doing that. As long as you, you start getting that idea of how to think, <laughs> how, how, to, how can I build my confidence, how I can see. I work in a team, I how can I you know, think through a problem and some, suppose somebody, uh, a problem is there, if, if something stops working, mm -hmm. rather than just shout for help, you initially say, okay, can I try and solve fix it this. myself? Can I fix yes. it? Why is it not working? You know, and getting that exposure of thinking and, and curious, why is it not working is to me, it's curiosity, right? Okay. And then the other thing that we try and do is a lot of times, you know, the education system around the world has focused on solutions. Okay. But sometimes those solutions are no longer relevant because the world is changing, changing fast. Yes. So what is important is having the imagination to ask questions. Mm. Mm. So once you start asking questions and you imagine questions, okay. which is part of curiosity, then solutions will get created. Right? The first step is actually to be able to ask questions mm. and get that that curiosity. Mm. So if we have small children in our home and all of us as parents who have that, we know our, our kids ask us, why does this work this way? Why does this work that way? Mm. How does this happen? Right? And so once you have that thing of how and why and what and, uh, and why not, then only right? that know. only, that's mm. part of the curiosity. So it sparks the curiosity in the minds of each and every child, yes. not even child, a teenage and probably a young adult. Yes, as well. even the young adults, even college students. As but well. I think the yeah. transition also is very important for the parents, right, Mr. Girish? Because yes. parents also needs the support kind of mindset so that they encourage and they yes. inhibit that behavior yes. from home, from the basic things that they do even at home, right, yes. Mr. Yes. Girish? Are you yes. practicing that with your with your children? Yes, absolutely. So they have, so like I said, you know, my el in fact, my elder son, he specialized in computer science and philosophy. Mm -hmm. So you know, completely different different, diff different fields, right? <laughs> two extremes. And so two extremes, and so he he's developed a thing of reading books, mm -hmm. but then also this thing, and you know, uh, he used to play the guitar when he was okay. here. So you know, he developed liking for football and music. Okay. So while he was growing up. Give them the the freedom to, to choose to and choose experiment an experiment, everything. and then then they find their own. Okay. So otherwise, if they they only do what you tell them to do. They, they they may not end up liking what they're doing and successful in what they're doing. You need to guide them as parents, of course. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. You need to give them some discipline, but you need to give them a little freedom to find their own. And even two siblings in the same house okay. may have different uh, different uh, likings, and different likings interests, as well. Yeah, and All you right. can give them the exposure for that. So, uh, so whatever we've spoken about, so we, uh, sir has spoken about curiosity, Jim, and all that, right? But sir, if I cancel everything, cancel everything, what curiosity Jim has done, right? Or, but you know, just look at you yourself yes. as a father, as a man. Yes. Uh, how do you find happiness or interest in your own circle of life? I mean, you know, forget your career, but how, how, how what, what do you do for fun? If I have to be straight and blunt. Okay, that's good. So. Actually, what makes me, uh, what made me take this career okay. is, I found that if 
one is enjoying what was one is doing okay. that is fun and that doesn't become see. work anymore yes. you know yes so i love to travel of course I see. and this gives me the opportunity to like it's given me the opportunity to come to the northeast and to yes. meghalaya yes it gives me the opportunity to deal with you know kids as old as 7 or 8 years old okay. Okay. as well as sometimes college college students right and then it it allows me to do the hiking and and travel traveling oh. as well which mm-hmm. is part of my hobbies yes right and of course when i'm back home i have a dog okay. so i spend a lot of time with the dog and 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 cycling and and hiking those are my interests yeah it's it's nice to see that his work also connects with some of his interests yeah. so coming to the northeast probably would have been uh, you know one of the adventures of your life yes uh, yes can you just I share come here yes share with the audience uh, out of the many states in the northeast uh, yes. what are the states that you've visited before yeah so i visited west bengal i visited assam okay. i visited meghalaya all right i plan to go to the mizoram and nagaland mizoram as, well, as well but i haven't been there yet in arunachal of course yeah. i see yeah. and when you visited uh, shillong for the first time yes. uh, what was your experience what was what was the cultural shock about shillong or what was the geographical shock about shillong it was cold <laughs> much okay. colder than mumbai okay. uh, but otherwise people were very warm you know uh, so okay. whoever i dealt with i think they were very warm people and you know uh, and i've experienced that with almost anybody i've met okay. whether it's at schools or the community center or avenues or the or the children or mm. the parents mm. i've spoken to here mm. and, you know there is a lot of warmth okay. uh, there's a lot of i would say curiosity to also learn more to learn more okay. uh, that is that is uh, good to see okay right and uh, yeah i hope that you know with uh, uh, with more exposure i think that you know there there should be more interaction around uh, you know different parts of the country and you know okay. and uh, of course the national education policy that sir has mentioned earlier uh, that was uh, actually released in the year 2020 So, but again, when it comes to policies, or you know, uh, to finally implement those policies, it is a time-taking uh, procedure. Yes. Uh, but we are so glad that Curiosity Gym has taken the initiative to partner with Avenues. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know what Avenues is. For example, right now we are in the Jinking office, and uh, for the last two days, Mr. Girish has been able to share snippets or samples of what they do at Curiosity Gym. For me personally, it was a revelation of a new form of learning, a new perspective. Uh, not for me. For me, because I'm a trainer, I'm so excited to be learning his ways of, you know, engaging with children, and it will revolutionize the entire form of uh, uh, our education system. And I'm not sure if the education policy is exactly aligning with uh, what Sir is doing, but I'm sure it's 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 a new concept altogether. So if I have to ask you to advise. Uh, on the uh, give me three words that defines curiosity gym in relation with the education of meghalaya or india in general what would those three words be uh, mr girish so one of the thing is experiential learning okay so experiential learning is actually stated in the national education policy mm-hmm. and it's the fundamental of what we are doing at curiosity gym all right uh, since the past 7 years even mm-hmm. before the national education policy mm-hmm. was announced Okay. And you know, so education. Um, what is experiential learning mm. is when you're hands-on. having some hands-on thing. It might be sometimes hands-on. It might be some sometimes like some of the workshops we yes. did today. It might be yes. thinking, but thinking in a very different way. You know, mm. you're thinking out of the box mm. rather than a known. You know, reading a textbook and saying this is the It's set like of rules, and and here is the 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 known answer. Mm. We kind of, in fact, today we had. children creating problems i see right rather than f- we first expose them to some puzzles yes. and then we made them puzzle makers mm-hmm. yes uh, in the yesterday in one of the smaller groups mm-hmm. in the junior group yeah, yesterday they made simple animation uh, uh, movies yes. just with two drawings and then they they're moving the frames really fast <laughs> and so it became you know uh, how, how how the simplest mm-hmm. animation movie was was made you yes. know we, they got the fundamentals some of them started guessing each other's birthdays i see right so these are kind of and that is actually the, the principle of bi- binary numbers and and there's a lot of maths yes, sir. in it so so you know we just try and make it fun to learn mm-hmm. and then the the concepts of science and maths come along with it that is what our parents saw 
uh, the, 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 stu the parents of the winter workshops uh, you know, had a meeting before Sir Girish implemented his, his, his magin magicianship because what he did was actually magic in, uh, at first. So the parents also had amazing feedback and uh, we only look forward to better days, right. better partnerships between Avenues and uh, your organization, uh, yes. Mr. Girish. And I wish you all the best in whatever endeavors you pursue but also looking forward to new learnings, even for us as trainers. Uh, so before we close today's interview, do you have anything to say about, uh, anything to say uh, about your experience here at Avenues with the students of Winter Workshop? It was such a wonderful experience and it surpassed all my expectations. Okay. Uh, you know, working with uh, the early, early, years, early years, the juniors okay. and the seniors okay. and the trainers and the parents, okay. you know, and of course your founder, yes. uh, right? And so, uh, you know, having worked with everyone and the team mm -hmm. is an excellent organization. Okay. And you're all so charged of working with kids and <laughs> developing them in different ways. And we hope to bring STEM as part of that as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so STEM hope the partnership goes to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're wondering what STEM is, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So uh, they're not so intimidating after all. Yeah. Thank you for checking in. My name is Mankrao Kukpa Kharbuli. I'm a senior faculty member at Ave News. And uh, you have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Man. Thank, Thank you, Man. Yes. Thank you.